morning everybody it's Gina um, I think it's been about a month maybe six weeks ago I did a uh, design team project for <clears throat> Love Junk Journals and it was a little tag booklet um, that I um, created and I thought today I, I, I was looking back and realized I'd I hadn't done a tutorial for it and I am winding down for my Christmas holiday, so I thought it's a great time for me to create some of these for Happy Mail that's going to be going out in December. Um, I've got a couple of um, ladies in mind that um, I'd like to say a little thank you to. So I thought this would be a really nice little project to do, and I thought, well, heck, I'll just go ahead and turn the TV, uh, TV on, listen to me, the camera on, and you guys can just craft along with me. Um, it's pretty basic, but I thought it'd be a lot of fun to do one of these together. So let's just jump in. I'm going to do one, and then I'll have to, um, you know, carry on creating some for myself. Okay, so I've decided to use my porch prints. These are the shabby um, ledger papers that Stephanie's got in her shop. So this is how I'm going to create one of them. Okay, so what I've done is I've printed this out on light cardstock and I believe this is 100 GSM um, because I'm having such issues with my printer at the moment. It's not going to take anything over that. But actually this works out really well because you're going to back these and sandwich some muslin between them anyway, so that's perfect. Um, so what I did just, you know, to save some time is I went ahead and cut these out. Uh, as you can see with this one, you're going to want two, four, six large tags cut. And then I just think it's kind of nice to have one that's slightly smaller so you need the front and the back on that as well. So you're going to need a total of eight cut out in advance so I'm just going to go ahead and decide what images. So I'm going to just have those as one, two, and three and then this will be so what I'm going to do now, let me grab some muslin. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I've been trying to redo my craft room again, and Miss Genus put her fabric in a different closet. So, um, yeah. I'll be struggling to find anything when I come back because it's all well and good at the moment. But when I take a break from it, I'll never find it. So here we go. You could decide the, you know, how wide you think the strip needs to be, but I kind of think about an inch and a half because what you're going to do is sandwich. You want enough. Um, fabric so you can sandwich that between these and it's gonna you know create a little a little hinge so I, I always don't worry about cutting it off right now take this over to the machine <clears throat> unfortunately I, I don't have it set up to show you but you know now if you don't want to sew no problem just get you some Fabri-Tac and glue that so that it's it's overhanging a little bit there and then bring this other one there but I'm going to take it to the machine because I like to have a lot of sewing in there and I'm going to stitch this and then I'm going to do the same thing <clears throat> with this next one so that's what you're going to do to attach all of these. So I'll do this all in one step and then we'll come back and start decorating. But okay, be back in a moment. Okay, guys, I've been to the machine and I've stitched around all of these 
edges so now you can see you've got your your hinges and so now I'm just going to go back and I like to have a little bit of this hanging over just kind of looks nice bear with me today guys because um, it's been a little while since I've done a tutorial and I feel like I'm, I'm just a bit out of it on uh, I'm doing a create with me. <clears throat> it's just been so. Uh, I don't know. We just can't seem to get back into a routine, of, you know, since everything, because every day there's just unexpected things coming up, and you can't, you can't plan for any of it. <clears throat> so that's why I have been um, away from. The channel. Uh, I just you know, think you know you think you got the week planned, and things just are popping up, and so oh, I just now just take it a day at a time, which is probably the best way to do it. <laughs> okay. So yes, do bear with me, guys. This is um, I'm feeling really really out of it. Oh, okay. So. This is how I'm going to have it. I think that's going to be my front. And I'm just getting all these little extra strings cut off there. And I've decided I want this image. Because on the front, you could make this into a pocket. But I kind of like the front just to be a really pretty image with some um, things on the background. So I've cut this piece. And then it occurred to me that I picked this up this week at the car boot. Um, I couldn't believe it. It was in a bag and I asked the guy how much and he said one pound. So today I've just opened it and look at this. I think this must be an old, old scarf. And now I'm wondering, I really don't know if I even want to cut into this because that is absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to give this a a wash and I might be doing something else with that little piece so that's going to go into my don't use pile but look at all of the lace I got for a pound and these are old um, not too sure about this one that might not be that old but these are definitely so I think what I'll do is take a bit of this and and put in behind and then I'm going to stitch around this and adhere that to the front. But yeah, I'm liking the idea of some of this. So let me just get my scissors here. And this is this is how I I just cut things. A lot of times I cut it and I'm not really liking it, but that's okay because even the little pieces they won't be wasted. So don't be afraid to try. You know. If you've cut it and you don't like it, stick it in, in, a, in your little bits and pieces drawer. That's what I do. And then some days I'll just grab them and just start making snippets. You know, so... I mean, I'm no expert. But I don't think anybody is on this. You know, you just try it until you you see something that you like. So I don't want that to hang over too, too much. Yeah, I don't like that. And that's just... I'm just going to play with it until... Now I like that because I already know <clears throat> I'm going to do something up in the corner like I did with this one. I just don't want that hanging over that much because I just think it will interfere. <coughs> Alright, so I, I've cut that. That just goes into a drawer that's going to become 
part of a snippet roll or I might come back and add it to something like this. So now I'm going to go over and sew all this together. That way I can glue it and I know it's all going to stick together very well. So I'll be back. Okay, it's all stitched together and that's ready to be glued onto the front. <clears throat> and then I will move on to the next bit because I always come back with the finishing touches at the end. Oh, that's, I like that. That's beautiful. Very, very pretty. So I know I'm going to want a bit of metal work when I come back because I love the contrast of that. Okay, let's go on inside. Now, you don't have to do it like this, but I'm going to follow this formula because I, I like it. So here, what I've done is I've taken two tags and uh, I've cut those out and what I do is I just come back I know I want them to be folded about there and then the same with this one and that's going to make a A little flip out because you'll see I've got that tucked in and that will flip over so you can do some journaling and then I'll make a little pocket with a couple tags and I've got that tucked in so we'll do that so <clears throat> this is why it doesn't matter if your cardstock is a little bit on the thin side by the time you've added all these layers it's going to be nice and sturdy So let's just go ahead and get these glued down and then um, well, I'll tell you what, let me, I often get ahead of myself. Let me just go ahead and ink them up just a little bit before I glue them down. It would be easier than trying to do it after. Oh gosh. It's uh, so different when you're trying to do this on the camera because you're always wanting to make sure you do it in some kind of logical order, which we all know doesn't happen when you're on your own. <laughs> you just put it down and then you come back and correct the things, but it doesn't work that way when you're doing a tutorial. You want to try to avoid people messing up on the first go. <clears throat> All right, I'm happy with that now, so I'm going to glue that down. Let me open that up, and then I'll make a little, yeah. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. This is what I do, just to recheck that I'm doing everything the way I want it to be. And yes, I do answer myself sometimes. So, in preparation for my trip, because you know, I've come to the conclusion that when you're going somewhere, a lot of the, um, the fun is in the build-up to your, your trip. So, I always get a big kick out of, um, you know, you get... <clears throat> the little travel size toiletries and you treat yourself some, some, to some new unmentionables and then in preparation for mine I've treated myself to a new pair of um, a new set of pajamas and so now I am ready to hit Walmart 
if you are from the U.S., you know exactly what that means because <laughs> there is a group of people um, in the South that go to Walmart in their pajamas and rollers and house slippers. <laughs> and it just cracks me up. Not, I, I was joking. In case you don't know me that well, I am totally joking about that. I would never leave the house in my pajamas unless I was going to the hospital. <laughs> if there was an emergency, I probably wouldn't say, oh, stop what you're doing, you know, let me change clothes. But I'm um, just trying to think if I want to try to make these little, that might be quite sweet. These are some tiny tags I cut out, and I'm thinking, if I glued those, if I cut those out in the sturdier cardstock, that would be cute to hold that in place. I'm going to do that, because these are on the 100, and they're not quite sturdy enough, so I'll, I'm going to do that. Um, I'll cut a couple of those out, so I will be right back, so you don't have to see that. I will be back in just a second. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I get um, I get sidetracked with the little details, and uh, it just takes time, doesn't it? So I'm going to get this glued down here. And hope that this is going to work the way I think it's going to work. Oh, I already see I put that glue the wrong spot there. Okay. This is why I end up having issues with uh, stuff getting glued. I'm just going to leave that out now. Okay, so I've got this one. Uh, oh, shoot. I didn't realize I'm not going to have enough room there. Hmm, okay, let me have a rethink. Dang, okay. What would be nice is if that would hold both of them. Is it possible? I suppose if I ran it through the machine, that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to put a single stitch through there, so that's going to hold them both, because I did not realize I don't have enough room down there. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I have taken that to the machine. I put a single stitch down there, and that's actually worked really, really well to hold those in. So, very happy with that. Um, yeah, probably going to end up with about 30 clips that I'm going to need to um, <laughs> edit out. <laughs> okay, so let's take... These are perfect. Um... Tracy's little tea cards are just perfect for this, so I'm going to use the two rose images. Let me grab some scissors. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think often you get just as excited about preparing for a trip as you do actually doing it. Um, so little by little I'm gathering everything up and I'm not taking much going that direction. So luckily I won't have to lug too much through the airports. I mean I've still got a bag and my carry-on but Weight-wise, nothing like what's going to be coming back. So, but I'm super excited to get going. It just felt like it's been forever getting here, but now time is just whizzing by so quick. But luckily, I had some time to do. You know, there's been so many things I've been wanting to do in the crafting. Now I'm just going to glue this down on three sides to create a little, a little pocket here. So I was able to do the um, entry for the little friendship journal. 
I've been wanting to do that for so, so long, and I really hate that I've missed out on other ladies I've seen doing it, but just didn't have time. And then, um, I wanted to reorganize my craft space, and I have been working on that. Still a lot more to do on it. But just little things like that, you know, catching up. Okay, so I've got my little <clears throat> pockets. I'll come back and add those. I probably won't do that on here. Well, I might show you at the end. All right, so on this page, we're on this page now, just a single little pocket here. And then to decorate those, but I'll, again, I'm going to need to source a few things, and I don't have, I don't want to take the time while the camera's on. So let me just do a little pocket here, and then we need to do something on this one as well. These are just little tags I've cut up that were extra. Okay. Okay, so these are some of my porch prints of the rose faux postage. And I think actually that might be quite cute to do as one of the pockets. So I'll use that as this one and then I'll make a, a separate one for that. just going to use that one with the little birds. That's another of uh, Tracy's little tea cards, but these do make really cute little pockets. And then we can always come back and add can add a bit more lace and things to finish it off. But we'll just get the um, all the pockets on and then we'll come back and do our final touches. Okay, so that's those. Let's flip this over now and see. Alright, so <clears throat> here I'm going to need a belly band, a pocket, two pockets, and another single pocket.
Okay guys, sorry, I'm just trying to get, I'm going to do a couple of little pockets. I'll pull this over here so I can just cut these on camera. I don't want to keep stopping and starting. Because when I edit, if I end up with too many clips, oh, I do get myself in a big old mess. Um, of losing track of what one I've had to do. I'm terrible, terrible with it. So those two will fit there. And let me grab a larger one. and just get on with this. So you can see these are going to be um, very simple to make. Um, they just take a little bit of time, but, but they are a lot of fun to do. And it's surprising how much ephemera they hold. Okay. corner of this. Okay, I want to put a little bit of lace on that because I, I think it needs a little bit of sprucing up there. Let me see what I've got. This is where it all takes time, is just choosing what you're going to put. Oh, Let me see. It's too wide. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to sew this and then get that put down and then we'll start looking at um, decorating some more. Okay guys, I have added some lace, sewed on a few buttons to this, and I'm just going to get this down so it's got time hopefully to dry while we make a few little bits of ephemera for it. And then here I've done a tiny little pocket. I've sewn it to that pocket that you saw me cut out with the big shot. And I'm just going to get this glued down. Here, I've done some fussy cutting, added a little bit of lace, um, and then added the fussy cut roses to those little pockets and glued those. So those are those are ready to have something added. And here, I've decided to just do 
a pocket. <clears throat> and then I'm going to have another little side pocket here. This is just things I've grabbed from my stash because um, this is another thing I have got an absolute mess on. Or um, things that I've cut out in advance <clears throat> for projects. And, um, you know, projects evolve and you just end up not using everything you think you're going to. So this is on my stash busting list is to go through all of these little things and get them cut out and used <laughs> because next year there's going to be all new projects all new designs to work with so I must just really push on with clearing out my stash been some great ideas come across uh, lately for <clears throat> how to use up papers that you get in your paper stash that you don't like and it's now just finding time to do that. Okay, here we go. We've got all of our pockets in place. Now it's just a matter really of going back in and uh, adding our tags to these. And then that will be done. So just so you can see, this is how it's, it's coming along so far. Yep, that I may have to let me just snip that. I I've, I've let that overhang just slightly. Okay, so this is the front. I'm gonna add a bit more, you know, embellishing. You open it up. You've got this little pocket here. Another pocket there, a pocket here, here, tuck spot there, a pocket, 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 and another pocket. <coughs> so at this point, guys, you could just do, do up your tags and um, add your you know ribbons where you want and it will be done so I'm going to do this off camera now because you now see how to make the base of it and the rest of it is very time consuming so I will turn the camera off and I'll come back when it's completed and we'll do a flip through okay guys welcome back I have now embellished it and I thought I'd just do a, a recap on what we did and show you the finished. So here I've added <clears throat> a little metal button, some more lace pieces, and then a bulb pin, and then this little flower. And then this opens up. I've got the tag here, and there's room. More things could be added, and I might. I might fill them out a bit more. I just don't know. Stamped a little tag there that tucks under and then here I've got another little tag and then I've stamped this little herb jar on there isn't that sweet and then here I've got another tag in this pocket and then it flips over and here we've got two more little journal cards tucked in there just anything that you can pull, you know, I had bits and pieces left and I just thought it's nice to use them all up in here. Another stamped tag there, another little tag, and then here, this is a slightly larger tag, and then this one. So there you have it, that's the little tag booklet. Um, again, you're going to need two, four, six, eight, and then these ten tags cut out. Um, so I hope that wasn't too all over the place. It's 
it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, so I do hope I've explained it. It's it's not complicated, but it's just when you're stopping and starting all the time, I know that can often make it tricky, you know, as a watcher, as to, um, you know, if you're viewing it, as to what you're doing. But very simple, and I, I think it's come out very nice. I hope the recipient's going to like these. I've got to get on now. I've got to make some more, and hopefully I can do them a little bit quicker than this one's taken, because <laughs> it has taken a lot longer to do it uh, with the videoing. So anyways, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed that little create with me today, and um, I'll be back hopefully very soon with some more things. You guys have a great rest of the week. Take care. Bye.